Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about Shade the Changing Girl, Issue 2. Young Animal keeps pumping them out, and they keep on being awesome. As you guys know, if you watched my review of the first issue, I really love Shade the Changing Girl. I love the original Shade. I'm a huge fan of what's going on right now in the series. Uh, issue 2 picks up pretty much where the first one left off, where Shade now, of course, in the body of Megan is going to have to go to school. And as everyone knows, school is hell. And that is where this issue takes place. It's her not only feeling alien as an alien, but and not knowing the customs of Earth, being astonished at how backwards and low quality our math skills are, our schools are, everything about it. But also her feeling alien amongst just how her feelings are affecting her. She's not used to a lot of things going on right now. She misses home, but she doesn't miss home. She's seen a lot of similarities between her life and this girl that she's inhabited its life. And the parents and friends are just really confused. We're introduced to some of her, well, not so f quite friends, but people claim to be friends. Her did a really cool point, moment with her boyfriend who has been anxiously awaiting, of course, going back to the first issue. And finally meets her and it, what happens is definitely not what he expects. Uh, the art continues to be really trippy and borderline between you don't know what's going on, what's not going on, in a good way. I mean that in the best way. I mean as it's a great way to interpret the madness that is affecting her and that certain people are seeing and that certain people are being affected by uh, this issue. Just seem it's why I think this stands out amongst the other Doom Patrol and uh, Doom Patrol books, the other young animal books, uh, including Doom Patrol and Cave Cars and Amother Panic. But this place that this one Siemens out is very different, very unique compared to the others. And I love that each book at Young Animal right now has a very particular piece of a puzzle, and yet somehow they feel connected but not connected. It's a really cool dynamic they're going with, and I'm loving it. Uh, this issue, I would highly recommend if you love the first one. If you didn't like the first one, I would say give this one a chance. It is a bit more structured in a typical way, which seems to be what Doom Patrol and uh, Cave Carson are doing where the first issues kind of atypical and the second one goes in a no more normal fashion. Of course, Cape Carson was pretty straightforward. Doom Patrol number one was very uh, non-linear and then issue two begins to get that way. This wants to be, this seems to follow that trend a lot like Doom Patrol where the first one wasn't that linear. This one seems to be going much more straightforward, which is kind of cool. I like that you get a really trippy arts look into the world and then you start slowly starting to understand it more. As the character understands it, it's a really cool feeling. So yeah, highly recommend it. I'm excited for the rest of Young Animal. I'm going to be doing videos about every Young Animal book, I believe, until one disappoints me. So, and we only have Mother Panic left. I love the idea behind it. Uh, I'm excited for Young Animal. I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. A lot of new subs and a lot of new people have been watching me talk about Young Animal. So thank you guys. I'm going to have a few more reviews coming out this week. At least one more I know about. Uh, and it's going to be an interesting one. So yeah, Shades of Changing Girl issue 2 continues its trippy fun. Oh, the backup. Uh, the backup about change is really cool. Uh, very, very much about today's times in a very meta way. Uh, but that's what we grow to love from Young Animal. Meta contextualness. Sorry, my words are all over the place today. But it's partly because I've been up all night reading comics like this. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys thought of Shade the Changing Girl issue 2. Uh, tell me what you think is going to happen in the future. I am curious to see where her relationships with these characters go. Uh, specifically the parents. I like the notion of her just throwing away all the technology because it's so beneath her. So yeah, little stuff like that. I'm looking forward to see where that goes. So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And see you guys in another review or video.